You guys, apparently it's my birthday month for my channel, but you guys are so amazing. Um, when I left for farm show, we had just rolled over 24 and now you guys have rolled over 25,000 and it just <sighs> blows my mind. Um, so I'm going to be working on morning edits this morning and um, I'm just getting some stuff lined out for the day, I think. Hmm. I'd say Jace was just a little bit busy while I was gone. He's got his dad semi-loaded, his semi's loaded. Oh, it feels good to be home. Feels good to be home. That would be the third semi-loaded. I don't know if he's got more up there or not. I don't know where he's at. So that's his semi, the Kenworth is loaded, Jason's dad's truck and trailer are loaded and I'm pretty sure if I keep driving, my semi is somewhere up here loaded. He hit the 2000 bale mark um, while I was gone. This barn is full, which is a blessing. Not that you guys can see with the sun, but look, it's full, it's full. My heart is so full, like as full as this big barn. Um, I have so many things running through my head this morning and thoughts and all the different things combined. I don't need, like I want to put it into words, but I'm, man, you guys are like, ooh. The lens, I don't know. Maybe I need to like get a lens cleaner. I may have to look into that. Mental note for editing, lens cleaner stuff. But um, I sat down this morning and just simply reflected on our time with Farm Progress Show. The fact that we just topped over 25,000 subscribers, you guys, are so awesome. Like you guys came out and found us at Farm Progress Show. And if you guys took pics with me, um, please send them to me on my email or on social media, doesn't matter. Um, please send those to me so I can have them because I did not take pictures. Like I did, I, I took a little bit of content as you guys kind of seen, but I just really wanted to focus on being present. That's something that I have like worked on all year long, not just on the farm or going to farm shows with you guys, but being present with the kids and really just spending as much time um, with them and soaking up friendships and just <sighs> keeping life simple or as simple as I can. We're not granted every single day. So we have to live every day like it could be our last. Those are my Thursday thoughts for you guys. So um, we are back home. We are going to unload all these big squares. Jason talked about trying to maybe mow this afternoon. If not, we'll mow tomorrow and then we'll bail all weekend. Next week is pretty swamped with kid stuff. Like we have something almost every single night, actually every night next week. And, uh, so probably not a whole lot of haying stuff going on. We may try to sort cows off, wean, um, do that kind of thing in the process. Lots of shop cleanup, um, work on fencing, just things that kind of get put off and brushed off during hay season. Not that it's forgotten, but we kind of have to look at the long picture and the priorities is always in the summer is always been hay. Um, I also thought maybe this week it would be kind of cool to do a live. So I'm going to talk to Jason about how he feels regarding that and just doing some of the same Q and a questions. And I have them all wrote down, um, that you guys asked us regarding the 1842 S baler, 
the 6145 um, tractor by Massey Ferguson, all the farm show questions. I thought it would be kind of cool just to go back and do a live and kind of sit down with you guys and answer those questions if you have more. But yes, I will let you know when that's going to all happen. But thank you guys. Thank you so much for being a part of our farm story. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for subscribing. Um, you don't have to subscribe. You can just keep watching the videos. I had somebody ask me, what's the importance of subscribing? And really, it's so that you guys don't miss out on a video posting. It literally is just a notification. Um, think of it as like an email dropping. And when you subscribe, it means you get a little notification bell that says, hey, we put up a new video. But I'm also working on something that is in the works that may probably not take part until like later on this fall when things slow down and I can kind of get it started and figure out if it's something that's going to be beneficial for not only me, but for you guys is a newsletter that kind of capitalizes maybe on the week or a couple weeks out of the, you know, for like a two week bi-weekly newsletter. And then it'll have like the posts that I make on to Instagram. You guys can read the blog that tags along with the YouTube video. So that's something that's kind of been on my heart to do because writing is my thing. And I've talked for four minutes and 30 seconds. You guys would think talking would be my thing, but I haven't got to talk to you guys for a few days. So live in the moment. Keep it simple. Keep farming. Keep doing whatever you guys are good at. And uh, keep tagging along because we'll be, we'll be here. We'll be here. Say go move cows. Let's go. Go get in the pickup. Come on. Let's go. I think Roxy's still in the pickup. She don't like to get out very well. She jumped one time and now she's like, Mom, come on, Ryder. Get in. Get in. Let's go move the girls. Come on, Roxy. All right, let's go call the girls. Come on, go. And yes, we're walking because I did so much walking the last couple days, like miles of walking, that I just need to keep moving or I'll be sore. I'm thinking Saturday I'm going to try to saddle my pony and I want to go walk or ride around the, the fence lines, um, just see what gates we need fixed, what might be down, just the different stuff. Maybe Jason will even ride with me. We'll just have to see. Come on, girls! They're gonna beat us to the gate. Come on, girls! Woo!
go. They're such happy ladies. All right, we're gonna go wrangle up the rest. Come on, guys! Roxy! Okay, there's just a couple stragglers. Sweet pea. Boom through. That's good. That's good. Hi. All right, let's go. Get, there's a couple others. I know a lot of you guys are here for the hay and the tractors, but part of our life revolves around the cows too. Um, I totally understand if the cows and the horses aren't your thing, and that's totally okay, as long as you keep coming back for the hay content. We'll be here. We'll still be here. One thing that I really want Ryder to focus on is not necessarily to constantly be chasing a calf. I want him to trail it and to just help me guide it. Come here, Ryder! Thank you. And granted, I've been gone a couple days, so, and he's been cooped up, so he's just ready to go. It's like any teenage boy, they don't listen all the time. I have to cut it off. That's the gate opening. And even Rocky's, Rocky. Even Roxy's starting to really Pull her white a little bit each day. But they're on the hillside now. Come. So he came over to get the skid loader and we'll go back on the other side of the field and haul in and then I gotta go actually get the boys from football. And then hopefully I can call it a night because I'm kind of tired. chores this morning. It's Saturday. It's also September. I love September. It's my favorite month of the year. Fall is my favorite time of the year, but it's my birthday month. Um, so we're going to be celebrating lots and lots of stuff. Um, we rolled over 24 and 25,000 this past week. You guys are truly amazing. Thank you for all the support and love and all the things in between um with that it is saturday so sit you guys down here while i get my um feed ready here but um carol and Jalen have went to market so i'm on chicken duty and i think they wants to haul some bales for a neighbor this morning um and then i think the plan is to go mow we're gonna go mow or that's what we talked about on the five second drive down because I didn't walk. Um, I actually just rode with Jason because he was ready to go. So I'm gonna grab all the ponies out of the arena and uh, feed them real quick. Rocky's talking to me. This is probably my favorite Purina product out right now, this Omega Match. Super, super amazing stuff. Um, if you've got somebody that needs a little bit of extra um, calories, um, it's more omegas, skin and joint, pure and tangible, and it tastes great. I accidentally uh, got some in my hand the other day, 
and then I like did this. Doesn't taste bad. So we'll go feed Rocky first because he's already in. Turn my water on. And uh, yeah, we'll get today rolling. What do you think, Teddy? Good stuff? Alright, we'll clean in here and get the ponies fed and let the calves eat and we'll go haul some hay. Mommy's good boy. Mm -hmm. So before YouTube and before I really quit my job, we used to farm this field 
Um, I think there's over 100 acres here, but the problem is it's like 30 miles from home. So it was really hard when um, it was just me and Jason and we were doing it together when I left to keep up with this field. So we haven't done it for the last, so we did it in 19, but that was the last year we did it. I don't, I don't miss the drive. I miss the hay because it really did make some good hay. But hauling home was kind of always a, you'd get done bailing at, you know, seven or eight, but by the time you hauled in trucks, it was always 10, 11 or later. And coming home in semis and loaded trucks, just, it was always stressful. Not to mention running tractors on the road over here, you know, at that time we were running the JX on the rig. I think I had the 95 over here at one point, and then of course I ran my 5250. So we're, we're just picking these up and uh, we'll haul them back. And I think he's talking about maybe me go mowing. He's got somebody else he needs to haul to later this afternoon, deliver later on. So we'll go from there. But you still got it. Yeah, it's all the way over. I just want you to know I do not miss hauling rounds. Hmm. You want to talk about why you switched from rounds to squares? I know that's why I said I you're gonna cut it close there. What was the main reason you switched from rounds to uh, large squares? So I can make more money. <laughs> Do you want to talk more in depth about that? That's a marketing avenue for you. They're easier to haul. They're not wide. They flake off. You can feed more. You don't have as much like that core in the middle. There's a lot of lot of value for us why we went. You can stack them better in the barn. Or store them better. How many did you get yesterday in the cattle barn? Wow. In my little cattle barn. Today's gonna be pretty low key farm wise. Um, I try to usually use Sunday as like a reset day, especially at home. And if I don't get Sunday as a reset, I definitely take, oh man, um, I take Monday off, but I know I'm gonna be bailing tomorrow. So today I am uh, gonna just work at the house get things organized, especially since I was gone this week. We have a full week after school kids have cheer and football and all the things in between so Keaton's actually his first game is Tuesday and Jalen's going to be dancing doing a cheer routine with the high school team on Friday so lots of practices lots of running around um, but I'm excited to go watch each of them thrive in their own own way I have lots of projects like running through my head that I want to get like this all cleaned up so that way I can utilize it again the way it's kind of meant for, but um, it all just takes time. Farming, it all takes time. Can't do everything overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day, Kayla. 
So that's what I'm reminding myself that you can't have everything overnight. And it does, it does take lots of hard work in all aspects, whether you're training horses or breeding horses or making cows, you know, all these things take time. You can't just start from scratch and it all be put together tomorrow. So that's my Sunday advice. Anywho, I think Jason's going to uh, go unload hay. He's got two semis still loaded and then he's gonna go mow some more. And then yeah, we'll go from there. I guess hope you guys have a great day um, wherever you're at. Fueling. Calling. You guys are dirty. Um, I've not made it home. <laughs> what I thought I was going to be doing is not what we're doing. Um, Jason's Kenworth is loaded. John's semi is loaded. So we're going to go and unload those first. And then I'm going home to meal prep, website work, content create, do laundry, clean house. So I probably am not going to take you home with me. It's not my ideal fun stuff. But it's September, it's my birthday month, and we have so much, so much to be thankful for. Um, he knows how I like listening to that. She's a beaut, guys. Isn't she gorgeous? She will be when he gets her all lined out.